Welcome back. After nine seasons in the NFL, a local football star from Holland is turning the lessons he's learned on the field into mentoring moments in real life. Former U of M and NFL tight end Jay Reimersma joins us in studio live this morning to talk about his role as direct uh, executive director of Gateway Mission in Holland. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me, Brittany. Yeah, absolutely. It's a so, pleasure. <laughs> so Jay played from, I believe, 1996 to 2004, so about seven years, I believe that was. Um, so it's been a couple decades decades since you've played, but you're now with Gateway Mission, and you said it was when you played for the Bills. Um, tell us a little bit about your inspiration there. Well, actually, you know, that really is my first introduction to uh, rescue mission work, and when I was, the, for the seven years that I was in Buffalo, for five of those years, I was the Buffalo City Mission spokesperson, so I slopped food, I uh, shared my testimony, I, I mentored guys that were coming through the program. And I, it was some of the best volunteering, giving back to the community that I had ever experienced. And so after I retired, uh, we got connected to Holland Rescue Mission, which is now Gateway Mission, and uh, just started st supporting the work that they do there in a tangible way. And interestingly enough, about a year ago, uh, the, inter um, the executive director who had been there for 30 years, Daryl Bartlett, mm -hmm. Uh, I had gotten to know him because I was a supporter of the work. He, he called me one time and said that he was contemplating retiring and that kind of stuff. And I had taken a personal inventory of the, all the stuff that I enjoyed doing. Yeah. And so we chatted a little bit and I said, you know, I would really love to join the team here. And, and he said, I got goosebumps. And he closed the door and I said, well, that's weird. Should I have them? <laughs> And uh, he said, listen, we've been talking about a succession plan with the board here. We've been doing that for about five years. We want to identify somebody who has a passion for our work, which you clearly do, somebody that has uh, name recognition, which yeah. I did, and somebody that has some fundraising experience. And that's what I had done since I retired from the NFL. He goes, you're checking all those boxes. And so the first thing I'm going to do is call the board. And so literally that happened about a year ago. Uh, in October, by November, Daryl had announced his retirement, and I was named the interim guy. And then in February, I became the, the full-time executive director of Gateway Mission. And I couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs> yeah. We're having a blast serving people yeah. and, and experiencing that life transformation that comes from a personal relationship with Jesus that then translates into practical job skills and training to reset the trajectory of people that come through our doors. It's awesome. Awesome. Well, it's great to hear your passion for that. I know at one point you're probably passionate still about the NFL, and we can get a little bit more into that in our next half hour and maybe how some of the things that you learned in the NFL have translated into the role that you're in now. So we'll talk a little bit more with Jay coming up in about 30 minutes, so be sure to stay with us. And today, community, community members in Grand Rapids will come together on the court for a basketball game, which honors the life of a fallen GRPD officer.